day 357 in Kamona, experiment 69, testing 10 guns on TVS. On this day my idea was to check out 10 different guns while my loadout is pretty much the same. I was running T4, armored rig, T3 helmet, camping bag and some med kits. Frankly speaking the results are pretty surprising and the final conclusion of the experiment is somewhat depressing. It's hard to evaluate what makes a gun to be a good gun. Is it how much luck I have? Is it how many kills I have? Is it the total loot value? Is it the number of extractions I have? No, I think it wouldn't be right to say that a gun is good just because I extracted with close to 600,000. It doesn't mean it was the gun. It was my gameplay, my positioning, my luck, and also loadout and skill level of my enemies. Still, to have a written proof of performance, which I can review later on, I'm going to write down the results, starting with Ace 31, which is in my opinion a very weak gun. The recoil is terrible, but to compensate the 1x scope, I've been equipping BP bullets, T4 bullets, and surprise, surprise, this gun brought me 4 kills and approximately 300,000 profit. Still, I feel this is not one of the weapons I should be playing on the long run. Yes, I had a lucky game. Yes, especially that extraction kill was lucky, but it doesn't mean that this is a good gun or it just simply doesn't fit to my playstyle. T03 is a hidden gem in the game. Usually people don't play that because it's not one of the default guns, but I have proven to myself again that I can do some devastating damage with it. I was running T4 ammunition and I had two kills very early in the game and then a third one which was basically just me spotting an enemy and then shooting him while he was looting. Despite of not getting into heavy gunfights, still I feel this gun is really remarkable and it's affordable. Well, depending on the build obviously, but I could put together a really nice build for 50k. And hey, the fact that I got ratted at the end by a team doesn't mean that this is a bad gun it's actually a really strong gun the next gun on my list was the mdr and what i'm going to write down for myself isn't actually against the gun it's against the a1 bullets because early game i've been facing this t5 armor t6 helmet guy and I felt like that I have a better position and I'm gonna do this kill. I was confident that I'm gonna do this kill. I started shooting at him and absolutely nothing, no damage. He looked at me and basically he killed me by simply looking at me. So the conclusion is that MDR, or to be more precise, A1 bullets is something that is just meh. Don't do it Shady, don't use them. Of course I wanted to add one of my favorite weapons to this experiment 69 which is the AK-74N and early game I got into trouble while heading to the director's office. My teammate was asking for help. I was trying to support him by blocking that team which was coming from the alternate pass and then I got shot from the side. Maybe somebody sneaked up from the red room or maybe from the library. I have no clue and my teammate let me down. He was purely focusing on looting and let me remind you, don't let me down, down, down. And that guy even found a G-Lion on the shelf and he absolutely didn't deserve that. Does this game make the AK-74 to be a bad gun? I think no. So I dressed up again, again AK-74N and surprised I was destroying a T5 guy and his teammate on their spawn. So don't tell me that the AK-74 is a bad gun. Of course later in the game I died again but my final note is gonna be that AK-74N is a nice gun. It's a strong gun. Period. The M110 is a gun that is being loved by many and despite of TVS not being a sniper type of map still usually I have luck with the M110 so I picked it up I wanted that gun to be part of my experiment I was able to kill two teammates from a close range who I assume were pushing from the warehouse side and with the help of my teammate we killed the whole squad based on my kills I can tell you that the M110 is never gonna let you down if you aim precisely 
to the enemy's head and as a result your enemy is going to collapse and suffer. Later in the game I got caught by a rat again but it doesn't mean that the M110 is a bad gun, no, it's a really really good and strong gun. So note for myself, keep playing the M110 Shady. To make this experiment fun for myself, I was equipping a DP12 with a 3x zoom leg meta and surprisingly I had a really nice game with it. We had a decent fight next to the director's office or in the director's office and in total I was able to kill 3 enemies with my DP I was also reviving my teammate multiple times and then I extracted with a total of close to 300,000 coin or loot worth 300,000 coin. So this was a really successful and nice game but I had the feeling throughout the game that I'm somewhat being carried by my legend teammate LRG Matt who was doing the killing and I was acting more as the support guy as I said reviving him multiple times doing some noise with my DP-12 but it doesn't mean that the DP-12 is a viable gun at least not on this level and not on TV station. The next on my list was the TS-5 a budget gun and I was running with Dum Dums. I think it falls into the Bison category and I remember that in the past I had some successful games but this time Time, I wasn't lucky. I was almost participating in a fight but then my team was quicker by the time I arrived they already killed those two chads and one of my teammates picked up nice weapons and T5 and everything but no loot for me. Then there was another team coming from the alternate pass and I was trying to be sneaky I was trying to hide myself I was trying to position myself that by the time he runs out I'm gonna do the kill I felt like that this is going to be a very easy kill for me and I'm gonna pick up everything but no he rushed me he jumped and I got an instant headshot I heavily damaged him but he didn't die and the most most interesting thing about this game that killing me took less than one second and then my teammate killed that guy but he had all the time in the world the enemy got a leg spike or he was in a different universe for a couple of seconds my teammate had approximately five seconds to kill that guy should i be playing the ts5 no i shouldn't be playing the ts5 because if i want to go with a budget gun i would rather pick a bison or something else talking about the bison well the good old cheap bison with dum dums wrote me two kills and in this game I extracted with the highest loot value out of every game I played during this experiment. Yes, I extracted with approximately 600,000 and my starting gun was a bison with dum-dums. But it wasn't just me rushing the enemy killing T6 chads and then picking up all of their stuff. No, I needed my teammates, I needed a bit of luck, I needed my teammate to die who was doing one of the kills. But at the end of the day, this gun brought me luck. It didn't bring me any red items or such, but it kept me alive. And it wasn't the first time I've been playing Bison on TBS and I extracted with more than 500,000. Is it a good gun? Well, if you consider that it's a free gun from Faction Currency and it has a 53 round mag which you can put full with Dum Dums, I would consider this to be one of the strongest budget guns that is currently available. If you have Faction Currency, it's a better option than the MP5 or the MPX or any other weapon which is being used for Dum Dums. It's free and you can do pretty much the same. I've been even seeing players running Bison with a 3x zoom and 4x zoom and yes it works it works for me and it works for others as well so yes bison is a strong weapon the mpx is one of the guns i play nowadays really frequently i love that gun despite of not having t5 ammunition i think it's one of the best guns in the game so i can't wait to get the mcx in season 5 and in the game i played there was a spawn near to us and with hip fire I could destroy two enemies easily. One of them was carrying a full verse 75,000 which has been picked up by my teammate by the way but he was kind enough to return it to me later on. After pushing to the second floor I got caught by a rat sitting there behind the box but hey I could luckily self revive myself 
but my luck didn't last for too long because I've been shot from the other side of the map. I didn't want to judge the performance of the MPX based on this specific game, so I was dressing up again and we were pushing hard against the team, a squad hiding in the director's office and this game actually really shows the power, the strength of SMGs because I could run around and kill people while being on the move. Actually it also helped that I surprised them by running through the gas and I thought that this is going to be good proof that the MPX is one of the best guns or SMGs in the game. However, after doing some looting I knew that there is one more enemy coming towards me and this was frustrating because the reason I was pushing is because I knew I had T6 armor and T5 helmet so I thought it's going to be an easy target for me but I died so a note for myself and for everybody reading this despite of having t5 armor or t6 armor don't feel that you are not able to die does it make the mpx a bad gun no absolutely not maybe it's gonna be replaced by the mcx but until now this is the best smg in the game after the p90 the P90 and its magazine and the ammunition is expensive but it's worth the price. At the beginning of the game I was able to kill a full Timmy squad of 3 and then I also accidentally damaged my teammate who died or got knocked but I revived him and I had to back him to unban me from using nades multiple times. Anyways, after reviving the guy I had to quickly turn around because there was a duo pushing from the elevator side and I was shooting them through the plants. Interestingly, I did something again I need to remind to do in the future as well. I kept shooting, just keep shooting. If there is a target, then shoot and don't stop. I knew that there were two enemies, but I didn't expect to kill both of them with that spray. So the learning is that keep shooting, keep pulling that trigger. With 5 shredded enemies and approximately 450,000 total loot value, I must say that the P90 didn't let me down. I think it's the best SMG in the game, so it definitely deserves some attention because anytime I play P90 I feel strong because this weapon is actually strong. So what is the overall learning of Experiment 69? The learning is that usually it's not the gun that decides whether I keep myself alive and it also doesn't have a big impact on the loot value because I could extract with good stuff playing the DP-12 and also with the Bison but then I couldn't extract with the MPX or the AK-74N. As a conclusion I need to write down that TVS might not be the most profitable map for me. The reason for that is because there is no guarantee that I can stay alive. So I should be playing TVS if I want to play the game. If I want to practice PvP for making solid profit, TVS might not be the best choice. In order to make profit on TVS I have to find red items and during this session I didn't find any. And also I need to make sure that my extraction rate is at least 40%. If I don't meet these requirements I'm gonna keep losing money. And yes I lost money. I lost approximately 2 million on TVS recently. So ultimately does it matter what gun I play on TVS or actually on any of the other maps? The answer is that it's going to impact your gameplay with approximately 30% but the remaining 70% is not the gun. It's the positioning, it's the patience, it's the experience, it's the game awareness. Please do not think that expensive loadouts and pricey weapons are going to bring you success. Play smart, not hard.